Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, time appropriate salutations to everyone and welcome to another awesome segment on Adobe Creative Cloud Express. My name is Voodoo Val and I'm going to be your host uh, for the uh, the final Adobe Creative Cloud Express stream um, for me this week. Uh, I'm super pumped about it. We're going to kind of dive into a little bit more about what I'm going to be working on today. I'll do a quick recap of some of the other things that I have been working on um, in Creative Cloud Express. Uh, but first, I would like to jump over to this nifty page and kind of give you folks a rundown um, of where you can get more information um, about Creative Cloud Express and all that good stuff. So if you folks head over to adobe.com slash express, um, you will come to this page, which gives you a whole bunch of information about all the things that you can expect uh, from it. And this is a really excellent tool, folks. This is kind of a one-stop shop for all of you who are either not designers but are still marketing and um, you know kind of running a brand online and it's also great for you folks who are seasoned designers I, I myself have been designing for years uh, but with creative cloud express i can promote my personal brand any events that i'm going to be working on any sales i have um, or whatever it is that i need quick and easy without having to dive into other programs and and things like that i've got all my my branding and everything i need within creative cloud express and i can dive in and make videos, posts, announcements, coupons, all kinds of things. I can even make book covers in Creative Cloud Express. It literally has everything. Um, so please head over to this page if you'd like to learn a, bit, a little bit more about it, um, if you are new um, and have just discovered it. Um, and then I am going to dive over to Creative Cloud Express itself. And we're going to take a look at uh, what I've done, what we will do, and all that good stuff. Um, I am going to also peek in the chat and see how all of you folks are doing. Um, I see lots of familiar faces. Welcome in everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, it is morning for me, by the way, I'm in Northern California. So it is a, a chilly morning, um, chilly morning for design. Um, but yeah, I have been doing some branding for a fictional jewelry brand, fictional online jewelry shop called Athme. Um, and I'm just going to pop in here and kind of take a look at some of the things that I did. We have been using the branding and everything to create um, some posts, some fun posts and aesthetic posts, I suppose you could say. Um, and uh, I've been having a blast with it. I've been having a good time. We've made uh, some Instagram posts. We've made some flyers. Uh, and today what we're going to be doing is creating a coupon for a VIP customer, something that they may receive um, as a graphic in a VIP insider mailing list email sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to scroll through here uh, and you can see how many amazing templates we actually have um here within creative cloud express as i said there's you know invitations menus all kinds of super awesome things um, but one thing that you can also do if you are scrolling through here and you maybe don't see exactly what you want to use you can actually come up here to the top of the page and search all templates which makes things super easy especially if you're looking for you know maybe you want to do a flyer but you you'd like to start from a template um uh, of a flyer based around a certain theme or genre or whatever it is that you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and search coupon and I'm just going to come through here and find something that I think is a good starting base for me. Uh, now, one thing I'd love to call attention to you, especially for you folks who are maybe not designers specifically or have never jumped in and tried to create something um, for a brand of your own. When it comes to selecting a template to start from, uh, you don't actually have to start with a template that looks exactly what um, you are going to be creating a template for. Um, I'm going to choose something here that I feel like has kind of a nice um, layout as far as all of the elements that I can visualize here. Um, but I'm not necessarily choosing one based on the color specifically or the fonts or anything like that. I'm just kind of trying to go for something that I feel um, has kind of a, a layout that is interesting to me because I am going to come in here and I'm going to I'm going to, you know, switch all these things around and reorganize it and edit it. Um, but I do like having these center aligned elements um, possibly with some 
uh, some designs or text here on the edges, which works for me. Um, so keep in mind uh, that you can keep an open mind when it comes to starting with the templates. Um, so now what is the first step that we're going to be doing here? First of all, I'm going to come over and look through what we've got in our layers for this template. Um, and you can find the layers down here, this little hovering uh, sandwich here. Um, and if I click on that, you can see that it expands and I can cycle through and see what we've got. We've got our texture in the background. We have a group here um, of our accent beauty. Um, we have a, another group of our little left and right uh, kind of leafy um, accent illustrations here. Another group that has our 40% off with an interesting shape in the background. And then another group with our left and right coupon text here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by, um, I think I'm going to remove some of these things. I don't think that I am going to use the coupon on the left and right here, but I do kind of like the idea of having uh, illustrations on the left and right. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that coupon and hit delete on my keyboard. Uh, and then I am going to uh, go ahead and, and leave everything else where it is. Uh, and I'm going to come in and change the background. Um, now I do have colors and everything picked out that we have been working with very loyally uh, throughout this week. Um, but I was thinking we might try to pair some of my cream colors that I've chosen with more of a blue and gold because I don't have any blue in my color palette. Uh, but I kind of in hindsight feel like I should have added some because that might be fun. So we're going to focus on some blues today. Um, and I with this background selected, I'm just going to go ahead and go replace. Um, and you can see that I can come through here and I can hunt through the backgrounds and see if there's something that I want to use. I can come into photos um, and I would go ahead and remove what I had in the search bar there. And I'm going to type something like um, blue agate. Um, I hope that is how you spell agate. <laughs> Um, I am a designer. I am not a master speller. Um, I really like something like, like this one or um, maybe this purpley one uh, would be interesting. That green is nice too, but I do want to stick to more blue tones. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. Um, just something that's really bold and interesting. And then what I'm going to do is kind of accent where, um, let's see... I'd like to have a very bold background um, and more simple, I suppose, informative text. Um, and I'm going to peek through here just one more time, just in case there is something else that I would like. Um, I'm wondering if that's the perfect one for the job. Um, I will also, I'm going to do blue gold agate um, and just see if there are any more along these. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. There's a <laughs> getting into the ooh, yeah mode when we design. I like this one. I like this one because it has like kind of this darker um, shade in the center. I'm actually going to remove that and make sure I select this and replace. Um, and we'll do blue gold um, and find that image again. Let's do this one because it's a little bit darker. It's still um, very interesting. I kind of zoomed in. Maybe I'll just resize this and um, do it my myself. Because you can also do that. You can also just add an image in and kind of um, kind of place it as you want. Uh, if that is how you'd like to work, I think I'll do something like this. I think that's great. And honestly, it's kind of interesting because it's almost like that dark uh, is a background of sorts. And then these are their own elements. I kind of like how that works. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to remove this um, and we are going to leave it like this. Uh, now, the next thing I'd like to do is I would like to use um, some design assets. And this is something that we have not done yet um, this week, but I'm, I'm really excited to show you folks this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just remove our grouped 40% because I know I'm not going to use these fonts and I know I'm not going to use that shape. So I'm just going to get rid of that so I can really see um, the, the scope of my project here. And we're going to dive into design assets. Also, let me make sure um, 
that I am not missing any questions. Let me just quickly peruse here. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see. Can't wait to see what you're creating. Oh, thank you so much. Um, also, can't wait to see what you folks are creating. I have a hard time visualizing what template to pick. I tend to get overwhelmed. Um, I feel the same way when I'm selecting a template based on what all of the templates look like. Sometimes I get I get lucky and I find a template that's like, ooh, I want my graphic to look exactly like this. But the beauty of using Creative Cloud Express is that it's so incredibly customizable um, that you can start with a template like we're doing today and it will end up looking nothing like it. For me, um, if you folks want some advice on choosing a template um, and you know, successfully implementing it with your brand is I would choose a template uh, for a specific genre, maybe not necessarily looking at the colors, not necessarily looking at the fonts. Um, if you don't see something that's perfect for you right off the bat, focus on the design elements and the placement of particular elements. Um, and I did, you know, I did remove some big points of this template, but I do know that I did want to have that giant central graphic, which I'm keeping in mind and I've seen it in action and even though it didn't match the colors and aesthetic I was going for I kind of have that train of thought going now the creative juices are flowing and in, in that way um, and that helps so all right so design assets I'm going to come over here and click here now design assets are really amazing um, you can grab graphic groups if you want so these are like these um, really cool groups of elements that are already um, kind of grouped together uh, and, and which I think is really cool. So you could even use the graphic group groups the same way you use a template. If you find an unrelated group, but it's a nice collage and collection of items, um, you could throw that in and then replace those with whatever you want. Um, you can add in all kinds of illustrations and cool little decorative items, frames, what have you. Um, you can add effects groups, which is really cool. I'm not gonna be using an effects group today, but um, I can kind of show this uh, to you. Um, if you'd like to see if I wanted to make this darker and a little more moody, I could come in here with this effects group. I could come into um, the blending modes and change the blending modes. I could go through the filters and um, use different filters and all kinds of things, which is really cool. Um, so for those of you maybe who have uh, dabbled in Photoshop a little bit, there's a little bit of um, familiarity there. Um, but what we're going to do today is grab a frame um, because I happened to spy with my little eyes some very intriguing frames the other day that I'm very eager to use. Um, so I'm going to scroll down here and find geometric within our design asset frames. And I'm going to scroll down into square because we've got this nice gold here and look at these frames. Just, just take a gander here for a second. I'm gonna pop a few of these in here just so that we can peek, but how amazing are these? These are so cool. Um, and the moment I saw them, I was just kind of exploring. So I was like, you know what? I haven't used a lot of design assets. I, I'd like to just kind of explore and see what there is. And I found these and I was like, this is magnificent. I feel like it screams luxury and it's such a clean, high def, high quality asset. And I, I just want to use it in something. Um, so I actually, I decided once I saw it that I'd really like to use this one. I really love this kind of dual tone um, vibe here that this one has. And I'm going to actually rotate this around. And you can see I've got my little helpful guides here that just snap this for me. Um, and I'm going to size it up just a little bit and I am going to place it in the center here. And I'm just going to kind of hunt around until I find my middle points and halfway points here. Um, I also, I think I may move my, um, I'm going to move my groups for a second here so they don't snap to my groups. Um, and then I have a little bit more control with how I place this. Boom. Okay. So we've got this in here. Um, I, I am, however, going to create 
a fancy group of my own because I want to spice up this interesting frame a little bit. Um, and I know that I want to add text here because when they open this email, you know, my fictional clients open my fictional email. Um, I want them to be able to see like this gorgeous graphic that has um, all of the information they need. Um, and I don't know if I'm, you know, maybe I'll put like the you know, 40% off sale, like the previous graphic or something. But the only problem with using this graphic with this background is that this is a little bit busy. So let's kind of unbusy it. Um, I don't know if that is a, a term anyone else uses, but I use it sometimes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to unbusy this graphic. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do that with uh, the icons. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I am going to type a uh, square. We're gonna grab a nice square. Um, and let me go ahead and hit enter. And I'm just gonna grab just any square as long as it has uh, sharp corners because I want it, I'm gonna put it behind my graphic here. Um, I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I'm also going to grab a rectangle. Um, and this is something that I do uh, every once in a while. When you're hunting around for graphics, you can grab one thing and place it where you want it, grab another thing, place it where you want it. But sometimes what I like to do is I like to just grab the things I know I want to experiment with. Uh, and I know that these are all going to be in a group together. So I can throw them all in here. I can group them and then I can work within my group. So I'm going to click one of these, hold shift and select all of all three of these elements that I've grabbed and I'm going to go ahead and hit group. Um, and then I'm going to just arrange these. Um, and actually, you know, what I might need to do is order them properly first. Um, so let's make sure that this one, I want this one on the bottom and I want this one in between there. And then I will uh, select all of them. Boom, hold shift, boom, boom. Let's group. All right. Um, so I'm going to snag this guy right here and I'm going to throw him in the back uh, and I'm just going to resize so that that takes up my background and I'm going to change this color um, just by hitting this color button in the edit icon panel and I'm going to instead of using these colors because remember I want to use with, uh, work with blue today but I didn't have any blue chosen. Um, I'm going to, instead of clicking here or using the suggested or typing in a code like we have done previous days, I'm going to snag my eyedropper and I'm going to make sure that this matches the background here of this image that I love. Um, and I'm going to select a color there. I might want something slightly more blue, um, but I'm not sure. I don't want it overly saturated. Maybe I'll just bump it over on the saturation and make sure that it's dark like so. Um, this may work for me, may, boom. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, and then what I'd like to do, because I know I'm gonna wanna put text here, but um, it's very busy, as I said. Um, so if I, you know, for example, if I went and added some text real quick, I feel like we're gonna have some issues with the visibility. Um, so let me see, actually, you can search in here for the kind of text that you want. And previously we've just been adding our text with this button here. Um, but also it's kind of fun to snag a lockup uh, that kind of fits your your vibe. Um, so you have a starting place um, and they have a sell, a, a sells, a sales um, category here. So I'm gonna go into more and I'm just going to find kind of a good looking thing to use. I don't think I want anything with like wild graphics or anything like, ooh, this one is perfect. Two for one. Um, and I think that'll work. But as you can see, if I throw this over top of my graphic here, this doesn't look great, which is why I dragged in that other rectangle, because we're going to put a rectangle of color behind that, um, that kind of clears up the visibility for us. So I'm going to come back over here into our group. Um, and I am going to, just like I did with the other rectangle, I'm going to kind of put this back here and I'm going to align it in a way that, um, kind of leave some overlap with um, this paint swipe going into the negative space of our graphic here. And I'm going to use the cream color that we've chosen for our palette because I feel like that looks nice. Um, and it does have that hard cutoff. In fact, I might actually um, 
resize this up just a tiny bit, but I don't think that matters um, if it has that, you know, that, that bit up above. I'm obviously not going to find the perfect graphic that fits this perfect shape of that paint swipe in there, um, but I feel like it almost just adds like a little extra bit of texture and that's good for me. Um, I might noodle with it a little bit more um, while we are playing around um, here, but I think for now that is going to be good. So I've kind of created this nice group. I think I need to bump it over just slightly, however. Um, I've kind of created this nice group um, that looks like a, a nice looking centerpiece um, for our project here. All right, um, let me make sure uh, that I'm not missing any uh, chats. Declutter, yeah, if you, you know, if you, I, I feel like grouping and everything here, it really allows you to kind of declutter your space um, and, and kind of keep things nice and clean, um, with the layers, especially because after a while, like working in this workspace, you don't want to have like tons and tons of layers going crazy here. And so being able to group things and reorder things and all that good stuff very easily is super helpful. Um, and I'm going to just grab this accent beauty and I'm going to drag it up because we are not going to remove this. This is going to end up being a group that we actually keep in our project. Um, very elegant. I think so too. I think, I think it's cool. Unbusy is a technical term. Thank you, Cody Bear. I appreciate it. I think it is too. Um, the abstract shape matches the loopies in the background. I feel like it, it really does. Like it, it has a very nice vibe, almost like they were meant to be paired together. Um, also, we are um, having some wonderfully helpful links posted in the chat uh, where you can join the Creative Cloud Express Discord and all that good stuff. So if anybody is um, interested to join the community, please do. Um, Penny saying, I don't think I've ever created a coupon. Um, you know what? It's not something that I do often. Um, I kind of have annual sales uh, for like my personal prints and things. Um, and in the past, designing coupons has always been legitimately daunting for me because I, I, you know, it's not something I find myself doing constantly unless I am like, you know, new stuff for sale. Um, so this is great practice for me, um, but it's also so much easier for me to create a coupon, especially with it being something that I personally don't do a lot and am not as comfortable doing, you know, um, with Creative Cloud Express, because there's so many amazing things that I can use here uh, for this. And starting for a template, as I said before, is actually very, very useful. Um, so we are going to edit the text. Um, I also want to make sure I'm keeping an eye on time here. I think we are coming to um, almost the very end. So I'm going to do this very, very quick. I am going to change this main font to Lust because I think we got just two minutes left here. Um, and I am going to go ahead and hit this, uh, this version of Lust. And I am going to rewrite this as Athame, which is our brand. Boom. Um, I am going to change the color to that cream uh, because I think that that would look nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit the spacing here and possibly edit the, the size. Um, I don't know. I feel like, no, I won't edit the size. I'll just leave it like that. Um, and then we're going to edit this too. And I am going to call this um, Athame Insider. Maybe that's the title of the VIP list that these... Um, VIP people have signed up for. Um, so I'm going to call this insider. Boom. We're also going to change this to our cream color. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to maybe bump that closer just a tiny bit. Um, and we'll snag our entire group and make sure that's centered right in there. Um, and how much time do we have left? Uh, we might have to take off and like maybe 40 seconds here. But the last thing I'm gonna do is add just a teeny tiny, little bit more spice. I'm gonna come into the design assets and I'm going to go into illustrations. I'll scroll down to, I think we have like kind of a, a nature-y. Uh, yeah, here we go, nature. Um, and I think that there's like these interesting suns here for us and I'm gonna snag, I don't know if this is gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna snag a little sun 
I'm going to put that behind here. Oh, I'm going to remove these illustrations too, by the way, because we don't need those. Um, I am going to center this. Uh, we'll make it larger and I'm going to throw, I don't, I don't know, like I said, if this is a little too much, oops. Um, but I kind of want to see what it would be like to have an interesting illustration like this behind here. Um, and I think we'll do like a filter here and change the shadow to our cream. And that could be interesting. I could noodle with that, but there's my, my, my graphic for, you know, a coupon for my VIP folks that would be at the top of my email for the VIP mailing list. And I like it. I, I'm excited about it. I might noodle with it more um, if I had more time, but I think that this is a pretty good start. Um, I really appreciate all of you folks um, joining me. I do have to take off though, because we're coming to the end of our stream. I hope you all are having a blast in Creative Cloud Express. If you haven't checked it out yet, please go to adobe.com slash express and check out all of the information available to you about what Express is and what you can do with it. Dive in to express.adobe.com and check it out for yourself. Test it out. Um, experiment creatively. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being here with me. And I will see you around the Adobe Live or YouTube block in the future. Adios, everybody.